Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because today is our first wearable Wednesday. And if you have the palette that I'm going to use, come along and let's create a look together. If you don't, grab something with similar colors. You don't have to have everything that I use. Let's get started. Today, I want to create uh, a look that everyone can wear. That's why it's called Wearable Wednesday. Um, I have already done my complexion products and I'm going to go in with the ABH uh, eye primer. So I'm going to prime my lids and we are going to be using the Tati Beauty today. So you just want to prime your lids. Now, I suggest using a eye primer and not a concealer. Uh, if you are mature, if you have mature lids, you do not want to use concealer on your lids because concealer does crease. So that's why you want to use an eye primer or base. Something that says eye primer or base. Okay, so we are going to start off with the Tati Beauty. You have the Tati Beauty. Um, and you... If you don't, dip into something that has similar colors. So we're going to dip into Soothe as our transition shade in the matte, Soothe Matte. And we're going to place that right here, right above our crease. And I am using the Jaclyn Hill 33 brush. So I'm just pressing that into my crease. And then I'm going to grab the JH32 brush and I'm just going to lightly blend that out. I will tell you that the Tati Beauty uh, Volume 1 palette is so easy to work with. A child could use it. They're very pigmented and they blend like a dream. So I'm just doing back and forth motions on blending this out. Look how easily that blended out. Okay, now that we have the Soothe down, we are going to jump over to Story right here and I'm going to jump into this orange shade here in matte shade. And I'm going to place this in the outer third. Not all the way out to the outer third, but right in that area. You just kind of want to tap and blend towards your crease. Like that. Now that we have that color down, now you can make this as dark as you want, but I'm trying to keep this wearable so others can, you know, wear it out. That's why it's called Wearable Wednesday. Okay, so then we are going to dip in to the Ritual shade and the bottom matte. And I'm just gonna keep using the brush that I used to lay the other two colors down. And then we are going to go all the way over into the outer third, right behind the orange shade. We're just gonna deepen up and kind of go into your crease. Kind of pack that in there. I'm kind of leaving my brush in my crease and going back and forth, back and forth, but I'm not picking the brush up. You want to pack that right in there. I'm going to try really hard to keep this wearable. Okay, now that we have that down, we're going to take the brush that we blended each shade with, and we're just going to very lightly blend, I mean, with the lightest touch, 
we're going to lightly blend that brown in our crease. And then I will teach you how to bring it out, flick it out if you would like to bring it out further. Now I want to go in to the orange shade one more time and I have a clean brush. Actually I'm going to grab a shader brush and this is the ABH A3 brush and I'm going to dip into the story and I'm just going to pat that orange right here where we placed it before. I'm just bringing that back to life. Like that. Then we're gonna take the Jaclyn Hill uh, 32 and I know some of you may not have these brushes, just grab a Morphe brush or something similar to this shape you want it to be fluffy on the outside and you just want to lightly blend. Go short strokes back and forth, back and forth over that orange. Try to run it up into the crease if you can. And then just tap like that. Like so. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to dip back in to the color we started with, which is Soothe, this one right here, and I'm going to take a clean brush. And I'm just gonna get some on the edge, like that. And now I'm just going to lightly, right here at the edge, blend that darker soothe in and kind of carry all that up into where I had that transition shade. Like so. So simple. Okay, so now if you all wanted to wing this out a bit you could take the brush that you use that has the dark side on it and you could just go back and flicks like this. We're not gonna go out far, we're just gonna go out to the edge of my eyebrow. So I am touching the outer third where the brown is and it's also like about right here. So you see it's getting that color up here at the top and we're just flicking it back like that okay now we are going to dip into aura into the metallic and that would be a shimmer so you would need a shimmer shade something around a sh like a light champagne color anything will do and if you don't like these colors use any other palette that you have and just do the same steps that I'm doing shader brush uh, I think this is the JS something brush anyway I'm going to dip into aura like this, and then I'm just going to kind of carve out like I'm doing a cut crease, but I'm not. And then I'm just gonna start packing that in my inner corner. Well, not my inner corner, but you know, the inner of the eyelid, inner. And then I'm just going to pat right there around the other colors to blend them. I'm 
going to take my finger where the orange was and just kind of blend with my finger. Like so. Now we're going to go over and do it to the other eye. Then I'm going to take that clean brush that I picked up uh, the brown with and I will uh, wipe it off on my color switch or you can use a towel. And then I'm just going to lightly go back and forth, back and forth right here where that orange was once or twice. Just like so. Now, this is a wearable look that you could wear out anywhere. You could change the colors up if you don't like the colors. Uh, and I'm going to dip back into Soothe. And I'm just going to lightly bring that right back up here to the top and just blend out those edges which they weren't rough, but we put several colors down. Well, three different colors. And there we have the completed eye look, except for the inner corner. So I am going to jump off here, finish my face, and then I will be back to finish the underneath with you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am back and we are going to do the under eye. So I'm going to take this MYX pencil and I, it's in vanilla and I'm just going to lightly line the waterline. And now we are going to go in with a blender brush, one of these. I use a dual ended one most of the time. And we are going to go into Soothe, that first color we picked up. And we're just going to lightly place that under the eye and blend. And if you would like, you could do like um, a brown uh, eyeliner on your waterline or you could go in with the color Ritual, which I'm just going to barely tap. And I'm going to focus it back here at the back. And just do a little bit here at the edge of the outer third bottom. Then we're going to blend that in with Soothe. And if you want to get really detailed, you could take a very uh, tight line brush and you could use Ritual and you could, you know, smoke it out, which Belinda would like to do, but she's trying to keep it wearable. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm debating to do a liner. If I do, it's not going to be winged out. Okay. So I'm going to tight line the lash line. We are probably not going to do lashes today because it's Wearable Wednesday. Uh, if you all want lashes on Wearable Wednesday, just comment below. So I'm just going to take my KVD tattoo liner and I'm just going to tight line right here at my lashes. Like so. Do you see the difference between this eye and that eye? Yep. Now we'll do the same. Okay, so we are going to go in with mascara. I am going to curl my lashes with my Nana Coco HD Extreme Mascara. And give them a good coat.
And I did both my lashes without dipping back in. This mascara is amazing. I love it. I do have to clean up around my eye. So if if I really wanted to make this, you could you could wear this to the office and then you could come home and you could add a pop of glitter right in the middle or right here in the inner corner, deepen up the outer third of your light of your eye out here smoke it out just a bit and you could go to the club or to an office party um, and add some black liner add you a wing and some lashes and you're ready to go that would take less than 10 minutes um, we are going to add some blush and I have picked the cover FX um, soft peach and I am going to go into this side only because this is a office glam but of course it's your look whatever you would want to change about it you can but I'm going to do this is everyday look so that's I'm just giving you some ideals how you could change it up you could wear lashes if you're a lash wearer um, then we're going to pick out a lip, and I have the perfect new lip for this look. Okay, so I have the perfect lipstick, uh, and it's a new one, guys. It is the Gerard Cosmetics Luna Lip Liner. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my um, bling brushes, lip brush, in L1. I just wanted to blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with Serenity in the Gerard Hydra Matte Lipstick. I think I need to add another lip liner. Sugar and spice. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown to that. That was a little too peach looking for the look. So I added a little bit of sugar and spice to the corners. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gloss. And this is from Queen B. And there you have it. That is your Wearable Wednesday look. Um, but guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you wear this to church? Would you wear this uh, to the office? This is a pretty wearable look. Very easy. I could have completed it if I wasn't talking to you within 10 minutes. Um, I could have completed the whole eye look. So, um, let me know in the comments what you think about today's episode, and would you like liner and lashes on Wearable Wednesday, or would you like me to throw some in every once in a while? What you think about the whole look? As always, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. 
and if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss a beat and I will see you in the next one stay blessed What do we think about this look? Would you wear this out to town, to the office, to church? Is this a wearable look that you would wear? Leave it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this uh, new series. Oh, I forgot a pop of color in the corner. Hang on. I pulled this out. Cut all that shit, Belinda. I don't know because I can't see it because I don't have bifocal contact. So I don't know what it is, but I will link it below. But it's very pretty. I, I, I want to say that it's do wop or something like that, but my eyes can't see.